What's up? This is Adam Smith from the Commander Smiths, and it is proxy time. Uh, this week we are working on Panharmonicon. Uh, this card is used quite a bit in Commander, uh, and actually, I do actually have a proxy of this one, uh, but I did this one a few years ago, and I don't like how it turned out. I actually had to stretch the image. It was before he had a higher quality uh, image for this card, and now I actually have a good image to use here. Uh, to start off, I do like to try to figure out how I'm going to make this card and what's going to pop. This one looks like it's going to be re relatively easy, uh, pretty quick proxy here. Uh, this will probably be popping out in the top of the card. Uh, I don't think we can really do much here because once you get the text in front of that, you don't want this to go in front of the text and kind of take away from that. Plus, I don't know, really, it's not going to add much dimension. The only thing I do see is we might be able to use this guy in the the foreground of the bottom of the card to kind of pull a little more dimension to that. So uh, first off, where I got the image, you jump on Google, uh, did a Google search, Panharmonicon Art. Uh, that is a pretty high quality one. Once you get the 1,200 and, you know, over 1,000, I do like to use that. Um, so that's the art I used and then picked up Scryfall to actually get the card. So let's jump into the actual card. So we're going to start copying everything here. Just get everything. I might want to make this a little bigger so I can catch all the words. We don't want any of those words. If you have any letter that sticks through, it will show once you uh, put that on the actual image. So we're going to zoom in a little bit here. Uh, let's see. So we do have a couple letters there. Let's get this all the way here. Get the symbol there. I think the interesting thing is what, uh, and I'll fix that once we uh, do the card there. Uh, is trying to figure out where we're going to put the symbol, our symbol here. I have a couple ideas just looking at the card. Uh, let's catch all of that. Even the top part there. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And actually, I do want the bottom there, too. I can edit some of this once we get into the actual image. All right, now I think we're ready to move this sucker over. So let's move it over here and start resizing this. So some of the ideas for, oh, and see, this is what I'm talking about. See right there, I missed that. So we're going to cancel that. Control Z, get rid of that. Jump back here. Get down. There's that B. You F and B, I missed you. All right, now copy. And let's bring that back over. And resize. Uh, so a couple things I like to figure out where the symbol's going to go. Okay, so really quick, I don't want to get too low because see this image has we have some things in here that I don't that aren't a part of the card. This is more of like the uh, like pre-release or like a play mat type image, and so that's why we have this on the bottom. So you're going to want to kind of keep this one a little higher. So I don't want to get too big with it where my borders don't work. So, and I kind of want this to be centered, this thing right in the middle. And I do want this to come in front. Everybody knows what Panharmonicon is. So, uh, I can cover the, the letters and everything in this. So, I think this looks pretty good. Let's start cropping this out and kind of see. Sometimes you just test to see how this all works once you crop it. And sometimes you have to move your image after the crop. So, let's go boom. Uh, right there, and there, and let's get that bottom out of there. We don't want that there, and then to even it out a little bit, let's bring that in a little, bring that in a little. It's all about making it look like, okay, so that looks pretty good. All right, so then our next thing to do, let's... Bring this down a little bit, opacity, so you can see the card underneath. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying before, right away we're looking at not really doing anything here, because if I start bringing this in front, it just, it's going to look weird. So really we're going to probably just bring this guy and whatever this thing is in front, and then bring Panharmonicon, this whole thing, to the foreground. Uh, let's first fix some things so because I don't want to miss it later so you have this sticking out here and I'm not sure here let's look at that really quick 
Yeah, so we're going to fix that, get rid of that, get rid of that bottom part here, just clean it up a little bit, and then let's check out our top. So that's not too bad. There's some fading there. It's not terrible, but what I might do is just get rid of the whole black line there. I kind of want to jump over and see if there was anything, if I can move that over just a little bit. Hmm. It's so close because actually if I get that, so sometimes you got to do that. Well, that's, that's the cool thing about everything. Control Z gets you all the way back. So we're going to go really quick. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Z, Z. And that's just the perfectionist I am with stuff. Let's grab that extra. Boom. All right. Now. Let's see, let's get that back in spot. Control V. Wait, what happened to everything there? It's turning into a disaster. Control Z, okay. Copy. I don't know what it did before, that was kind of weird. Paste, there we go. All right, so we kind of know where we wanted that. So let's do that again. Boom, boom, zoom out just a little bit more so I get that right in the middle. I think that's about where I want it. Yeah, boom, crop. You guys have all seen this before. I made it so that this, <laughs> originally this was going to be, I thought, a short video because there wasn't much cropping or bringing to the foreground or anything like that, but then because I changed my mind on something it's making this video go a little bit longer so you get to see the control z and how fast it is to change things but i think we're good right there right there right there nothing's out all right i think that looks pretty good all right so now now we have this solid up here so now i don't really have to mess with the, the edges there but we do want to mess with the edges down here so we're going to do our stamp tool get to our background press alt click click again now we are there, so let's zoom in a little bit. Control. Uh, so if we really want it to be crisp, we grab this line and we go. This just makes it so that you stay inside the box. So it makes just a straight line. So you don't have to be so precise with your hand. Um, sounds a little bad, but... <laughs> So I, I kind of like that. That doesn't, uh, let me zoom in just to make sure. Is that sticking out or is that just a part of the text box? So it is sticking out a little bit. So let's make sure we get that right there. That'll cut that out and boom. Okay, there we go. Let's deselect and we'll move to the other side. I just like to look at it first. Looks good. Let's move over here. Zoom in there. And this one, you're not going to use that other tool. We're just going to use, whoops, let's get off of that. Deselect. Let's get back to our stamp tool. We want to shrink this down a little bit because we don't want to be all over the place with that. So we'll fix there. Fix there and just start fixing that until we get to there. All right, gets rid of that white. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty rounded. Maybe a little niche there. Okay, zoom out, zoom out, check everything again. Um, do I like what's going on this side? I don't know if I like that. Yeah, so there's some funky shit down going there. Funky stuff going here. So we're gonna get rid of that little corner there. We're gonna get rid of the black there as well. Okay, maybe a little bit smaller. We can catch it just there. Boom, all right, now let's zoom out. Yeah, there's black on this side, but it kind of, a lot of these have that 3D look to it where one side is, they're not symmetrical completely. You, they're trying to add dimension to it. So we're gonna keep that there. So next we'll bring this to see, like I was saying before, don't think we're gonna do anything there. 
But we will mess with this little guy down here. So let's get down there and just do that because I knew I wanted to mess with him. Let's zoom down there. Start bringing him out in front. He's not important to the image, but it is bringing... And, you know, you have the flavor text there, so we don't really care too much about that. But he brings a little bit uh, dimension to the card when we add him in there. So I, I, a lot of times there's like little things that'll do that where there's maybe some guys walking on the bottom where they really don't mean anything but the card, but it will add dimension or sometimes a, a story of what's going on to the card. Uh, and I have no idea what this thing is. Kind of looks like a genie lamp in a way at the end here, but I know that's not, I don't know. It's like a rock or something in there, but we still want to bring that because this, this seems like it's closer to us than what he is. So it wouldn't make sense. Uh, let me make sure that I got him where I want him. All right. Is there anything else with him? So sometimes you just bring this in to see if there's stuff I'm missing. So I could get his head a little bit more up there like that and a little bit there with the shoulder. Okay. He's pretty good there. So let's bring this a little bit. Oh, it's this. I'm going to bring this up a little bit more to make sure. Okay, so yeah, I got a little bit out of the line there, so we're going to pop that back. Get that back there again. And move over here. So this, we're going to shrink that down so we can get that point. That's the hardest point. Boom. And we can make it a little bigger so it makes it easier on us a little bit quicker. And flavor text, I don't really care if you go over flavor text completely cover it you know if that was rules text or what the card does i'll try to do a fade to it so you can still read what's underneath it but flavor text doesn't really matter for what i'm doing here so we're gonna just completely cover it all right that looks good let's get the bottom all right some of this can just be tedious but you don't do it all in one, you do clicks. So when you feel comfortable with one, you let go of your mouse so that you can control Z. If you get too far, and like if I had done that whole thing and then done one little mess up, it would have pissed me off because it would have taken, you know, a couple minutes to go back and do what I did. All right, so let's zoom out. How's that look? Yeah, that looks good. It's like he's staring at our card, trying to see what it does. It does some good shit is what it does. All right, so now we go up to the top part. This should be a little bit easier until we get to this point, but what I'm just going to do is everybody knows what Panharmonicon is, so I'm going to completely block it so you can see the whole thing. Um, if it isn't a, as a familiar card, I might um, keep the name so you can kind of see it, but we know what Panharmonicon is, don't we? So we're going to completely cover that. And there is, there, I don't really want to use the the tool of shading or the blurry lines. I want these crisp lines. This is a bright card. So if you start using the blurry lines, it won't necessarily look as good. So let's get that little peak there. Nope, so you got all the lines there. We might have to zoom in on this part. All right. So there's a nice peak. So let's get that way down. All right. There we go. Nope, a little out of line. Actually, the other one's out of line too. Damn you, Pan Harmonicon. So difficult. <laughs> it actually isn't. This should be a really easy one. But these little ones, these can get very tedious and make it something that you think is going to be very easy and quick. Uh, take a little bit longer. All right, that looks good. Let's zoom out, check it out. Good, good. Start moving across. Uh, do we want to hit this guy right away? Yeah, let's get it. We're just going to pull, I think, the whole thing. I'm trying to decide here. If I just want to do the swirlies going over it. Oh, yeah, definitely going to do it that way. So it, it gets a little more difficult that way because we're making it so it's, like, just in front of the card. So... Bring that there. Uh, I don't think I got out of line there. I think that looks good. So I get that. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. 
I get out of line? Nope, that's still good. Okay, good, good, good. There a little bit. So I'm completely, <laughs> and the, and I'll, I'll be honest, I kind of test run it beforehand to see how difficult it's going to be. And so I just like kind of fly through and be like, all right, this is what I'm thinking um, and whatever. I didn't, <laughs> this one I thought was going to be super easy, but this is a little more difficult. Just time consuming on this stuff here. All right. I think that's good. And it, it's just more about how you want to make the quality of card. Like, do you want it to be really, I could have just done this whole thing as one big blob going over and have been just as fine, but I think it makes the card look a little bit more. 3D with everything if you take the time and pick the things you want to come out. So at this point, um, yeah, I think that's good there. I don't know if I got that peak there. No, I didn't. Okay, so there we go. I kind of, let's zoom out and look a little bit. All right, still looks good. So now we'll get this a little bigger because all of this is coming out right in front Actually, including that. Doesn't have to be so specific there. So detailed. All right, there we go. Let go of the mouse for a second because it might mess up here. So we get closer to the edge. All right. Not bad, not bad. All right, all right, all right. Zoom out. Looks good. All right, now we just have. Now, sometimes what it'll do is I'll kind of make it look like this is going in between so I might leave this in the background but this one that would just look silly if I did that but a lot of times I will do that where it looks like the card is holding um, the title text and the casting cost of the card so it's, it, you'll, you'll weave it in and out of there which is kind of fun to do but this one just looks like we need to have panharmonicon they're all the same level it's not like angled at all yeah and that's what it would do is add oops see I got a little bit there do that this one's not angled at all. This one's just a straight on shot. So, okay. Now let's look at the whole card. Hey, that looked out. That looks pretty damn good right there. Fuck yeah. All right. So I like where this is sitting. So now the, the main part, where are we putting this damn symbol? I have some ideas. Uh, let's get this copied here. Kind of could do what I did with Crucible Worlds last week's uh, proxy time card. Or there's another spot I saw when I was kind of planning this out a little bit. We could go right in the middle, like I said, right there. Or there is a little bead there. So we're going to kind of test both spots to see which one looks better. Uh, let's shrink her down. Shrink her down, zoom in here. All right, so spot number one could do like we did with Crucible and put it right in the mouth of that. But the thing is, is you got to get it small enough so it looks like it's part of it. So yeah, it looks very pixelated until you say go or check mark. So you say it's okay. No, <laughs> that might be too small. Let's see. You can barely see that that symbol's there. So, my next thought is what if we are here instead? That might be what we do in this one. I thought it would be really good to be in the middle of this because it really draws the attention to that, but this just might be the way to go. We'll move over, up. Let's zoom out. Let's see how that looks. Still pretty small. Man, what do I like more? There or there? I kind of... I think I might like it there a little better. It draws more attention to it. Come on. Let's make you a little bit bigger. can't decide because then I will also dim the color I don't like it being that bright because it just looks way out of place so if it's like that oh man I can't decide there or 
there. It just kind of... It's not as distracting when it's down there. So maybe I go back down here. Yeah. And we'll keep the, uh, the pearl as a outline of it. So it's not just like, oh, I'm just putting this random symbol here. So we're going to kind of keep it so that it has an outline that it's supposed to be there. All right. I, I like that. It's a little hidden there. All right. So we are going to brighten that up just a tad. I like that. All right. 57. Let's see. I normally get into the 70s. I think that looks pretty good. Hey. All right. So that is the final of this card, Panharmonicon. I think that turned out pretty good. It was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be a quick five minute video, but yeah, this turned out a little bit while well, I did have to backtrack a little bit too, but that's sometimes what you have to do. But you can see how fast it is to, if you make a mistake and catch it later, control Z just gets you right back to it. So, so yeah, that's Panharmonicon. This is a uh, proxy time. And uh, if you guys like this go ahead and subscribe to our page you guys can also check us out we have a weekly podcast so you can check us out at commander smith so uh this is adam smith we will see you guys next week or the next proxy time thanks for watching see ya